Yo guys, what is going on? How are you guys doing today? Welcome back to another video on the channel. I want to say a big shout out to all you guys who've been supporting my videos and my live streams recently. Um, they have been absolutely mental. Um, it has been a ton of fun. So I appreciate you guys supporting the videos or the streams, whatever you guys are supporting. Um, it is very, very much appreciated by me. Now, I wanted to make a video today because there's an insane market crash and I actually haven't made a I haven't made a video on trading in probably like a long time. So a lot of the guys were in my stream today talking about uh, what the hell is going on um, and everything. So I was like, okay, let's just get on a YouTube video tonight. Let's get one to sit up overnight for you guys. Let's talk about everything. Let's debrief it. Let's talk about what's happening, why it's happening, uh, what's going to go on. Now, let's get on the basis of something really quickly. We are entering the month of August. You're going to be watching this video in the month of August. FIFA is... is in terms of grinding and making coins, it's a good time to grind. Um, before we get into any of the market stuff today or anything related menu content, uh, I just wanted to say right now uh, there's a ton of stuff in packs. And before you do anything, you should understand that the pack weight has been hired significantly for team of the season players. Um, what you can see here is in a, in a 7.5K pack, I probably opened up about 50 of these today. I packed seven major league team of the season. There's no outside the top five league team of the seasons in packs. It's only major league team of the seasons that are available in packs. And as you can see here, uh, team of the season player gives you a 4.1% chance of packing a player. So that is very high in my opinion. So it shows you the true uh, pack weight of team of the seasons. EA decided to kind of do something very similar to Festival of Football last year, which was a promo where they kind of tossed everything into packs and everything's pack weight was higher. Now, the one thing that was different from Festival of Football last year to this year is the upgrade packs. EA, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I do believe EA is going to bring out 81 plus packs, 81 to 86 packs, all of those kind of packs I think EA will start to deliver, um, whether it's next Monday or if it's in the next few days. And that will kind of give you guys another week or two to really enjoy this game before you say, hey, it's time to hang it up. I've packed what I can out of the untradables, and now it's time for FIFA 20. Um, so that's my guess. I think they should bring those because if they do bring 81 pluses, they're going to be overpowered. I can tell you that right now because I've been doing gold upgrades. And for a gold upgrade pack, what you need to do is put in obviously the non-rares. You get the 40 chemistry and the gold, the gold uh, non-rares together. You can put rares in if you want. You get the two rare players packs. I did probably 40 of those today. I packed like five to seven, five to seven team of seasons and probably 10 to 12 special cards. So these are very overpowered. So if they bring the 81 plus, I remember doing 81 plus packs last summer and literally I would do 100 and I would pack out of 100, probably 60 special cards. So they are very overpowered and I hope that EA delivers on those um, at a certain point of the year. Now, also just to give you guys an update on the team of the season upgrade packs, uh, the team of the season upgrade packs uh, have dropped a ton in value. They're now worth under 100,000 coins on both consoles. They are not as worth it as before because every team of the season on the market has dropped very significantly. I repeat, very significantly. Um, I'm going to go through and show you guys my transfer list right now just so you guys can see this because it is absolutely mental. So a situation you have right now. I packed Quagliarello today out of a 7.5K pack. His min price is 105K. He doesn't even sell at 106,000 coins. I mean, this market crash right now, guys, is potentially worse than the World Cup mode crash. And if you guys don't know about the World Cup mode crash, that happened uh, a few months back, uh, a few uh, in last year's FIFA around this time, a few months before, I was trying to say a few months before this time of the year, last FIFA, and, and card prices dropped in half. I'm here to tell you guys today, tonight, it's way different. Um, it is way, 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 way different, guys. Um, the market is dying. Kenny Lala, I'll show you guys an example right now. I packed that card today. Let me show you guys just some stuff on my transfer list just so you guys can feel the see the pain of it. So let's see. I've got a few Tiago Silvas. I actually sold one at 4.30 earlier today. And right now on the market, um, he is 270,000. He's a whopping 247K. So cards are going down in half. And there's some other cards, guys, that if you really, really look today on the market, um, it is just insane. Danny DaCosta was 250K. He doesn't even sell more than 50,000 coins at the moment. 50K. He doesn't even sell for more than 50k. Guys, this is one of the most meta rate packs on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. And he doesn't even sell for more than 50k. How crazy is that? I don't know what to tell you guys. It is absolutely mental, um, the prices that are going on in the market right now. You've also got other cards like Thiago Mendes, right? That I packed this today and I expected to sell my 330. He's not even selling over 100k right now. He's 79k. So this kind of crash is, is just not even seen before. I was selling this at 240. He's like now at 50, he's 40K, this card, 40,000 coins, 38K. You're seeing a card that has gone from 245,000 coins to 38,000 coins. 
I, I, I want to take out my phone and do some math for you guys just to tell you guys how much of a drop that is in price. 240,000 coins divided by 38K. So that's not going to help me. Hold on, guys. I'm from NA. Just give me one second. Uh, 38 divided by... Hold on. Let me do the math real quick. 240 divided by 38. All right. These cards have dropped about... Well, I couldn't give you a percentage, but six... Anyways, guys, you get the point. I'm from NA. They've dropped a lot. Um, they've dropped a lot, a lot, a lot. And anything that's in packs right now. Now, a lot of you are going to ask me, Nick, what is in packs? What you guys can do is you guys can go on EA Sports' Twitter. There's a link that shows you that everything that EA has put into packs today. There is a spreadsheet. Um, I don't know why I'm clicking on the spreadsheet. It is about 300 items that they have put into packs, guys. 300 items is the total count. So you guys can see in here, they've put in Carnival cards. Carnival Dybala. It seems like they put some of the better Carnival cards, some of the Team of the Group Stage cards, Foot Birthday cards, Future Star cards, Headliners, Ones of the Watches, Road to the Finals, uh, Team of the Knockout Stage, Ultimate Scream, and then you guys can see here, Bundesliga Team of Season. This is when it all starts. Community Team of Season, La Liga Team of Season, League One Team of Season, Premier League Team of Season, Serie A Team of the Season, Select Man of the Matches. It is absolutely mental, and what you guys can do is you guys can go on EA Sports' Twitter. They've publicly tweeted this out so you guys can see it. Um, and you guys can go mess around with it if you guys care about it at all. I don't know how much you guys do or don't care about it, but it could be something that if it's of interest to you guys, you guys can go and click on it. Um, yeah, it, it, these are going to be in packs. They've announced uh, these are going to be in packs for, I believe it's 14 days is what how long, quote unquote, Batch 3 is going to last for, um, which means there's going to be a potential to buy them. Here's what I'm going to tell you guys. Tomorrow is rewards. You guys may watch this video after rewards. There is going to be a time, in my opinion, where the rewards, because of the 100K packs, I know a lot of you guys are probably saying maybe some of the cards went up a little bit tonight. Just be careful. Even though people get coins from rewards, a lot of people already have their endgame teams, which is something to keep in mind. But another situation that's going on right now is the 100k packs are crazy OP. I completed the bundle SBC today, which was the 45k pack, the 50k pack, and all of those. And I packed probably three team of the seasons from that bundle. So those weren't even 100k packs. It's going to be insane tomorrow. When you guys see top 100 rewards on the channel this week, when you see streamers or consecrators opening 100k packs tomorrow, the amount of, of blues is going to be nuts. The amount of supply coming onto the market, the pack weight. If it's 4% in a 7.5k in a in a, uh, pack, and then you look at a 45k pack, and the drop rate is like, I think the drop rate for the, 20, for the 45k pack was 23% for a team of season player. It just mathematically means that with everybody opening, you know, weekly rewards tomorrow, it's going to get flooded onto the market, guys. I hate to tell you that, um, but looking through my club... Everything like this stuff is just, is, is, it, this stuff is actually out of packs. This stuff is not in packs. The rest of the world is out of packs. But a lot of the stuff they put back in packs, guys, is, is getting smashed today. And it's, it's understandable that it's getting smashed. It makes sense that it would go down. So to all of you guys that are asking me, Nick, when do we buy cards? When do we buy teams? I don't think there's a specific buy time. I think what you guys do, for example, right? Let me show you. I'll show you guys a few examples, right? So Pepe, right? I sold two Pepes at, two, at 910,000 coins the other day. Right now, Pepe on the market doesn't sell for his minimum price. His minimum price is 210K. He does not sell for his minimum price. That is his min price on the market. You can't list him under this price. You can't only quick sell him for 11K. So there's going to be a lot of people right now. You guys can count, go on the market and count how many. Look at all these guys who have packed him and they can't sell him because he's at min. There's a ton of people that are going to be waiting to relist and relist. So EA is going to have to, I mean, before you even buy this card, in my opinion, EA is going to have to update the price ranges of these cards the minimum ranges, and they're going to have to knock those down. Um, and you guys are going to be surprised, man. I'm telling you. I think there's a, these cards like Pepe. I mean, if they knock the minimum range down, this guy can go all the way down to 150K. But guys, you're talking about a crash of a card that has gone from 950,000 coins all the way down to 200K. I mean, that is just mad to me, bro. Like, 950 to 200K is just a crazy drop down in price. So that's what we're dealing with on the market. I mean, you've got Pepe there. Um, you've got other cards. Like, these are some of the crazy cards. So today... I was looking on the market. I mean, you've got Ben Yedder who has gone from 1.24 million to right now he is, I believe he's 330K. Those are the drop-offs that we're looking at um, with a lot of these meta and, and team of the season cards. You've got Luka Jovic, um, who was, I think, about 700K. He is now 300K. He might even be... God, he might even be in the 200s now. He's like 330K. So again, you guys just got to be patient, man. What you guys got to understand about all these cards, they are in packs for two full weeks. You've got two full weeks of these cards in packs. You've got two full weeks of rewards. Obviously, today is the day that a lot of people are going to spam these and the mass supply is going to come now. 
However, you just don't have a rush. Even if the card goes up a little bit, it's okay. Like, you got two weeks. And you guys also, here's my biggest thing. There is only like six weeks left of this game. And to be honest, I think there's only two to three to four more weekend leagues. That's it. I think that's all that's left for the weekend league guys of FIFA 19. So for me to tell you guys, the important news here, boys, is it's very simply, guys, go and enjoy players. If you haven't played with a player yet and you're waiting to buy a player, don't be a guy who's like, yo, I need to wait till it gets to this price, guys. Go and spend. Go and buy the players that you want to play with, man. This game is so short. When you got a card that like Jovic that has gone from 700 or 600K to 300K, set a target. Say tomorrow at rewards, I'm going to buy him at 270K. And that's and that's it. If he doesn't, you know, if he goes lower, he goes lower. But I got him at 270 because you know at that point, guys, when you buy him at that point, he's not going to go that much lower than like 240, 250, 220, 230. So at worst, you lose like 40, 50K. These cards have all dropped so much already um, that it doesn't even matter anymore. Like Kenny Lala, for example, a card like this going from literally 440K. His headliner's like this card now. But this card literally going from 440K as I get a resub on the stream. Uh, shout out Grand Camo. 440k all the way down to about what 130k so what's lala gonna go to 75k 80k so it doesn't matter you got it at 120k like you set that price that was a target price that you cared about right that was the price that was important to you and that price you went in and you got him at neymar is another story let's take a look at some of the top tier team of the seasons today boys and see what the market's done to them these guys yeah they're down a little bit but not as much neymar is still about 8.65 million and i've seen it first hand sight today they are very hard to pack. I've opened a lot of team of the season packs. These guys are not easy to pack. I sold my Ronaldo team of the season yesterday at 755. Oh my God. Okay, he's actually really down. So Ronaldo's 6.1 right now. Holy crap. Okay, Ronaldo's down a lot. That is interesting because Neymar's not actually that low. Ronaldo's gotten killed today, which also means that Mbappe's gotten killed. That also means that Mbappe has to have gotten just smashed. Mbappe was about 4.1 yesterday, so Mbappe's about down a million coins. So this guy's down a ton. This guy's down a ton too. Um, I'm not surprised by that. What I'm gonna do real quick with you guys is I want to look at ultimate team of the season. Royce was I I could tell you Royce was two two point three yesterday. So where is he now? Oh my God, one point three. Royce is actually less than that. Royce is now one point four. One point four is Royce. This is mental. Messi is if you look at Messi on the market, we're looking for the team of the season. Messi. Team of the season, Messi is 198. So Messi was about 2.4, 1754. Damn, that's low. So Messi's 1754. So Messi has gone down a ton. Um, that actually might be a snipe. Let me see what's up with that price. That might actually be a deal. 1754. That actually might be a deal, boys. Did we buy that one? Is there a 18 on the market? 189. Wow, I'm going to be an absolute idiot and buy this car because I think that's... No, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Someone got it? Damn, that was so cheap. That's also what you're going to see on the market right now. That's probably... That's, for example, a target price that I probably should have just bought the card at. So you're going to see a lot of those, guys. You're going to see big undercuts. You're going to see people packing cards. Um, I don't know how many people are left to buy cards yet for rewards, guys. That's kind of also another thing that I wanted to tell you guys. I don't know how many people really still have to buy these cards. Uh, another thing is we'll, we'll pull up my main team right now. This is my main team. So I have a lot of cards that are not team of the season cards in my main team. So I want to see how they've reacted almost today to the market. So Ferdinand, I bought for 735. He's down about 100,000 coins. Moments Hullet, I bought at 8.5 mil. Now, before we look at this price, he's been about 9 to 10 million for the last few weeks. He's 11 mil, so he's not down. Neymar team of the year was about 6.8 million last weekend. Still 6.1 mil. So down a little bit today. Maybe down 500k, guys, because of the team of the season Neymar dropping. But nothing that crazy. Team of the year, Conte is now... I bought him for 1.9. Conte's actually done a lot, and that's probably a little bit, guys, because of the Pogba situation, because Paul Pogba's SPC has dropped a ton. Messi, I bought at 3.59. Messi's about 3.549. So you are seeing a price drop with some of these team of the years, but it's not as heavy and not as significant uh, as a lot of the other cards. KDB is now... Wow, KDB's actually low. KDB's about 1, 168. So you are seeing a price drop, guys, with some of the team of the years, but it's not nearly significant as the team of the seasons, um, obviously because the team of the seasons are the ones that are obviously getting spammed in packs and, and packable. Team of the years are never packable. So that's that's something that's a good thing. But yeah, man, this this market crash is literally crazy. Uh, Sterling team of the season is 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 been smashed 520 from probably about 800. So ultimate team of the season is always the one that you're going to see getting hit the least because those are the most meta cards. Um, for example, Van Dyke is still, you know, 1.25. 
But a guy like Havertz is getting, even though he's an ultimate team of the season and is super meta, even him, he is getting killed. He was 1.6, and according to Flippin right now, he's about 1.15. I don't know if that's actually on the market, but that is mental. If that's actually like, if that's actually like what he's down to, 1.15, that is literally just uh, a price kill. 1.2, yeah, he's 1.2. So. Guys, I think for me, in, in this kind of market, what I would do if I were you guys is just pick a target price for these players. Pick a price that you want for your final team. Don't really worry about it too much other than that. Just say, hey, you know what? I want this card at that price. I'm going to go for him there. And then, you know what? You make that deal. You make that transaction. That's what it is. Don't be freaking out too much about, hey, I have to get this card at this price because I don't want to lose coins. I remind you, it is almost... Well, you're watching this video. I get to finally say it. It's August. It's August. Okay, boys? It's August. And you guys got to stop worrying about your car prices, okay? Because it's August, all right? So go get your players. Go get anything you need. World Cup mode, car uh, market crash, worse than World Cup mode, all that. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Just wanted to run it through with you guys. Just buy the players, man. And I would say this. Sunday is going to be a big sell-off. Like, I, Saturday, Sunday. But Mondays have been market high days. So next Monday could be high. If they drop 81 plus upgrades next Monday, there's a chance that that stuff goes down a little bit in value because people sell their cards or people, people get the duplicates and then they sell the tradables. Anyways, I'm done rambling. Happy August, guys. We're still somehow playing FIFA in the last month of, in the last month of the year, but or the, the the calendar year for FIFA. So thank you guys for watching. I'm rambling. I'm tired. Peace out.